All right, what's up? So I wanna go over some things with Telegram and a VPN. I'll explain as I go. So the one thing I want you guys to understand is that Telegram is not by default uh, user to user, end to end, E to E encrypted. It doesn't encrypt unless you actually turn on the encryption, which is the secret chats. So how do you do that? So what you do is you go to, uh, you can go any user. I'm gonna choose this user. At the top right, it has their little icon. You click on the icon and it has different modes of connection. So I'm gonna to go to more, which is right here. And what I will do is I will start a secret chat. Yes, I wanna start the secret chat. Now, look at what it says. This secret chat now, it has end-to-end -end encryption, it leaves no trace on the servers. You can self-destruct it. Now you are fully secured, you're encrypted, you're great. If you go back, you can see the encryption key. This is the encryption key. Now, Telegram uses 256-bit symmetric AES. It used 2048-bit BSAs. And it also uses the Diffie-Hellman Secure Key Exchange. So those are the ways that it encrypts their messages, which if you don't know what all that mumbo-jumbo nerd stuff means, it's very difficult. Very, 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 very difficult because you have to be able to decrypt this real time. If you go back at the bottom right, it says settings. So click settings, uh, go down to privacy and security, and the first thing that I would do is I would turn on the passcode and ID. If somebody grabs your phone, takes your phone right now, and they open up your phone, if they can get in your phone, they can get into Telegram. You gotta have a passcode for your phone, then you have to have a passcode for the app. It adds more levels of security. Uh, you can allow who sees your phone number, all that shit. But what I wanna talk about right here is calls. So who can call you, blah, blah, blah. When we go down to peer to peer, peer to peer means that when I call somebody, it's going to uh, it's going to go directly from my phone to their phone. It's encrypted. That's fine. But if you disable peer to peer, which is right here, never. If you disable it, it relays calls through Telegram servers. So it doesn't reveal your IP address. It goes through Telegram servers. So it looks like that Telegram's calling Telegram versus your phone is calling this phone through this app. So that's why I keep that. Never. At the bottom, iOS call integration, it's usually on, turn it off. What it does is if the cloud sync enabled on your phone, your history and all that shit is shared with Apple. So if you don't want to share your information with Apple, click that off iOS call integration and nothing will be shared with Apple. It'll be, it'll stay with you. So that's calls. If you go down and you go to data settings, delete all cloud drafts. What that does is it takes all the all the drafts of your groups of your chats of everything out of the out of the cloud server for Telegram, which means that it's only available on your phone on your app that you're using. You can't log into Telegram somewhere else and have all that information. So turn the cloud drafts off. So that way, if somebody hacks your Telegram and they log in from a computer in Brazil, they can see everything that you're talking about because it's in the cloud. Delete all cloud drafts. Let's go back. So automatically delete my account if you're away for a month. So the way that we use Telegram, you use it every day. So if you're not on there for a month, something's going on. If away for a month, delete the whole account. That's So click that on. Data and storage. So here's your storage usage. Keep media for. I put a, month, I put a week uh, just because I don't want shit adding up taking up space and staying in my in my phone on my app. If you go down here, clear Telegram cache. When you clear the Telegram cache, that takes care of everything that's in the cache that is basically a cache is is data that is stored every stop you make, it stores everything, all the data in here. So clear the Telegram cache. So that way it's not there. Okay. Now for calls, you can use less data. So the less data you have, the, more, the harder it is to really figure out what you are doing, how you are doing it, etc. So I keep that on always. This is the basic settings that you wanna keep on your Telegram so that way you are the safest, the quietest as possible. Now we're gonna go back and we will go to the VPN that I use is Surfshark. So what Surfshark is, it's a virtual private network and it encrypts your phone, it encrypts anything that you do on your phone. You no, know, the apps, 
anything you do, the, your web searches, um, when you buy stuff on Amazon, when you buy things here, when you buy, if you were to search on Amazon guns um, and, and pay for it, nobody would know what you searched for on Amazon because you ran it through a virtual private network. I'm not saying guns like as in any malicious shit. That's just the first thing that came to my head. So that's a VPN. Now, if you go to settings in your VPN, you can go to your protocols and if you click on protocols, you can update how you want your, uh, your protocols to run through your VPN. So that keeps everything extremely quiet. No borders. So no borders is a smart feature that protects your internet freedom, which means that there's no border. If I want to go back to uh, locations, if I want my IP address or whatever it looks like that I'm doing, I can set it out of Canada. I can set it out of Denmark. I can set it out of Germany. And what happens is whatever I'm doing on my phone, it looks like it's coming out of Germany from something, some, somewhere nobody knows, from some IP address nobody knows in Germany versus watching exactly what I'm doing because my phone's connected to my account. My account has my name on it and my social security number, all that other stuff. This is the safest way to keep an absolute <clears throat> zero emission of a data electronic footprint. This is the way to do it. And this is called a VPN, a virtual private network. Yes, it costs money every month, but $3.95 a month or however much it is, is worth A, not getting your fucking credit card information, your bank account information, uh, identity theft, privacy online. If you're looking up something, you're Googling something, or you, oh, that's another thing. If you want to go to features, you can go to search. If you look down here, the real incognito search, what that is, is that is an actual real incognito search. Google private mode and in, in, in Apple iPhone private mode, those are not actual, there's still footprints and data, metadata that are being stored in clouds and on servers and whatever your carrier is on your cell phone. It's not. This is actually truly, there's zero, nobody would ever be able to figure out unless they were doing it real time trying to, and they had some way to figure out how to decrypt. It's just, a, it would, it's just not going to happen. 99.99999% safe. So that's that. So again, the VPN is the way to go if you really want to be able to move, um, order things, you know, pay your bills and not have to worry about identity theft, uh, call somebody, text somebody. You know, when you run Telegram through a VPN, you are untraceable. So with that said, if you have any questions, please let me know.